Greetings everyone and welcome to this new video series on bias in research and unbiased opinion. Now what is an error? The literal definition of an error is a mistake while the statistical definition of an error is the difference between the retained value and the true value. It can also be defined as the amount by which an observation differs from its expected value. Now accuracy and precision are not the same. To get a clear understanding of what accuracy and precision mean and how they differ, we will take the help of this example of darts on a dartboard. Now accuracy is the inverse of error. Accuracy is the difference between the uh, observed values with the expected value. So the less the difference the more accurate your research or your test is. Whereas precision is the variability between your observed value. So lower the variability, the more precise your test is. So the first uh, dartboard is an example of a test which is least accurate and least precise among the four. The second is an example of a highly precise test, but not a very accurate test. The third dartboard is an example of an accurate test, but not precise. And the fourth is an example of an accurate as well as a precise test. Now, absence of systematic error in a test can be defined as accuracy or absence of random variation in a test can be defined as precision. The systematic error is also known as bias. So the literal definition of bias is to support or oppose in an unfair way personal opinions which can influence judgment. It can also be defined as a tendency which can lead to unprejudiced consideration of a question. Now systematic error which can be introduced into sampling or testing is known as bias in research. It can also be defined as selecting or encouraging one outcome or one answer over the others. Why do we need to understand bias? So that we can critically and independently review literature. We can avoid suboptimal or harmful treatments. And understanding bias is essential for evidence-based medicine to flourish. Now, how does bias interfere with results? So when bias is introduced in a test or a research, the estimates of association can be larger or smaller than the true association. So there will be deviation in our estimation. Some situation can arise when the estimation uh, is directly the opposite of the true association. Now, the most, the three most common places where bias can arise is when we are recruiting participants for a study, when we are performing the actual study itself, and thirdly, when we are interpreting the results. So when recruiting participants, the type of bias, the common type of, bi common type of bias which can be introduced is selection bias. In selection bias, we can have Bergson and attrition bias. While performing the study, we can have recall bias, measurement bias, procedure bias, and the observance, observer expectancy effect, also known as the Pygmalion effect. When interpreting the results, we can have confounding bias, effect modification, lead time bias, or length time bias. All of these different, different types of biases will be explained further in the subsequent play, uh, series. Now, how do we mitigate bias and what is the importance of mitigating bias? So the first question will be answered along with the respective biases in the following uh, videos. And the importance of mitigating bias is to provide safe treatments or optimal treatments uh, to patients. And mitigating bias will ultimately lead to a more fruitful research and will give meaning and weight to evidence-based medicine, especially in India. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.